Dungeons and Dragons. They're currently his favourite animal. Last month, it was tigers. Three days ago, I marked his science test paper. Question five. Name four living things. His answers. One, dog. Two, cat. Three, tree. Four, dragon. I hastily scrawled, dragons aren't real in the margin, whilst awarding him four points on the technicality. The red ink stained my palms like blood the moment my pen hit the test paper. I had become Lady Macbeth, and all the perfumes of Arabia could not sweeten my little hand. I am employed to facilitate the broadening of young minds, and how dare I tell this six-year-old boy that dragons don't exist. Now we're in the classroom. I hand back every test paper apart from his, and I tell him I want to see him after the lesson. <clears throat> his nostrils begin to flare, and I know that if I gave him his paper now, he'd screw it up into a ball and use it as kindling to further fuel his fire. After convincing him that he's not in trouble, and bribing him with stickers, I finally get him to agree to stay behind after the class, but he still insists on lining up with the other boys and girls before pulling up a chair next to my desk. I get out his science paper. I refer to question five, complete with my scribbled out annotations, and I point out the glaring error. I'm sorry, I say. I made a mistake. We all make mistakes sometimes even teachers. That's all right, miss. I still think you're a good teacher. <laughs> oh, thanks, I say. Hey, miss, didn't you say your dad comes from Wales? Uh, yeah, that's right. Oh, miss, I love Wales. I mean, I've never been there, but I've heard it's beautiful. There are mountains and valleys and lots and lots of dragons. <laughs> hey, miss, have you ever seen a dragon before? I see the longing for magic in his eyes. I take a deep breath. Yes, I say. I've seen a dragon and it was magnificent. But you know what? Not everyone can see them. I guess I must be really special, like you. And he smiles, contented with my answer. I'm teaching him maths, English and science. He's teaching me to believe in dragons again. Mm.